Hello everybody, my name is Joseph. Today I'm going to be showing you how to access the Stanton Minecraft Tour for Minecraft Java Edition. Um, today we will only be going over how to access Minecraft Java Edition. Unfortunately, if you have Bedrock or Education Edition, you'll have to watch a different video or uh, read a different instruction on how to open up those versions. But today this is just going to be for Java. Now, most importantly, you, you first have to be in the team to access the file. If you're not already in the team, to tour Stanton, then you cannot access the file. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to Campus Tour, and you're going to need to click up here where it says Files, right? And then you're going to see some files, right? And then you're going to want to go to the one that says Stanton Tour Minecraft Java Edition. What you're going to want to do from there is you're going to want to click the three dots and click Download. Now this might take a little bit depending on your computer. Um, it doesn't take long for me because it's a zip file. All right, it's downloaded, so show in folder. Here you'll see, right here it is, Stanton Tour, Minecraft Java Edition. So what you're gonna need to do is open it up. You see this file right here? You're gonna copy that, click copy. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do next is you're gonna to wanna to go to C colon slash users slash, and then put whatever your username for this computer is, slash app data slash roaming slash dot minecraft slash saves here it is highlighted for you in case you would want to copy that down if you want to go ahead and pause the video so you can go ahead and type that out go ahead and do that i'm gonna type this right here so you guys can see me typing it out give me a sec B. Cannot have it both ways. We're gonna go here. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to insert my username in the right here, where it says insert username. So in my case, this is my student laptop, so I'm going to be using my SID number. If you're using your student laptop, you're going to also want to use your SID number right there next to users. Press enter. And then you're going to want to paste the file right here. Now, I already went ahead and pasted the file for the original copy of the game since I am one of the creators. And what you're going to want to do then is you're, you're set. You already have it uploaded to where you need to upload it. You then want to go to Minecraft and open up Minecraft. Now, if you have Java Edition, which is the version you should be using to access this file, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the launcher right here. Go ahead and put that away. It might take a second. And play on the latest release of the game, which currently, as I'm recording, is 1.16.5. That is the version you're going to want to be using for the server because it is when the nether updates happened and we have a lot of blocks that are used from the nether update, like a lot of warped uh, forest products for the uh, courtyard, which you will get to see on the tour. And then you want to hit play. Just give it a second to load. Now, while we're waiting on that to load, there is an alternative method that you can use. You can see here, these four steps right here, the ones I used to access the file, I downloaded the entire folder, I extracted the contents, and I went to right here, and I saved the file in the location, and then I played Minecraft. However, there's an alternative method. You can press the Windows button plus R, type percentage point or percent app data percent into the run window that pops up and then click OK then open up the dot minecraft folder and then go into the saves folder and then you can upload it from there whichever one's easiest for you however I find the first method easier for me personally but either way you want it it's it's either way um while we're waiting on minecraft to uh load here um here we go. Minecraft. All right. 
you're going to want to click single player. And then there's the world right there. You're going to want to click play on the world, and then you're in the game. Now, for you guys, it won't look the same as how it looks for me because I am in creative mode. Um, however, I think you guys will be in adventure mode, so that means you can't edit any blocks in the world and you cannot die. So that's a plus. Um, just wait for the game to load right here. Give it a second. It is a pretty big map file, so it will take a little bit. Ooh. I don't have exactly the fastest computer, as you can tell. <laughs> And it will take a second to load once the world is fully loaded. It's just loading in the chunks. There are a lot of them on this map because our, our campus is so big. Um, but just give it a second and it'll all be good. Oh boy. Just gotta wait a little bit. See it's loading in. Slowly but surely. There it goes. All right. Hopefully your computer can handle this a little bit faster than mine can. The reason it's going really slow right now is because I'm using the school laptop, like I said, and I'm trying to run recording software and this game at the same time. So you have that. Um, but yeah, here is Stanton College Preparatory in Minecraft. Here's the map of the school. And if you go right up here, you either click on this button or you walk over these pressure plates and your tour begins. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the Microsoft Teams page or uh, feel free to email me at my student number, which you've seen in the video. I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, but thank you for watching and I hope this video was helpful.